Hey guys, this is Smash from the Crafters Guild here with our first ever video and also our first ever tutorial. What we're planning on building today, or what I'm going to show you how to build today, is a mob grinder. There are many different versions of these grinders on the internet, and I'm going to show you how to make this specific one, which is a drowning machine. The brilliant thing about this specific system is it's so compact. You can put it just about anywhere, it doesn't have to be above ground. Uh, you can build it straight into the wall of one of your bases and have whatever leading mobs into it. You could have a spawner or you could have a mob tower, it wouldn't make any difference. It would pretty much, you'd get 100% drops out of this machine. Um, it is that effective. I mean, it, yes, it might be a bit slower than one of the lava machines, but there are no losses of items in this machine. Uh, this machine is actually made up of two parts. It's made up of a mob elevator and also and then a mob grinder um, which means that the input and output are basically on the same level and it also um, is effective against one mob which is very very difficult to kill with these grinders um, or the drowning grinders anyway and that is chickens. Um, you can lose the uh, the mob elevator and have um, just like a mob tower with a conveyor belt leading to it but the way I use it is I stick with the elevator because it, it deals with the pesky chickens so uh, first of all uh, there's a couple of things we need to note about the way water physics works in Minecraft before you can start a project like this and that is that when water is surrounded by air like so, it's actually more difficult to climb than water which is just surrounded by opaque blocks. So basically anything like dirt or stone or basically anything you can't see through means that water will flow slower and if it's next to something transparent like glass or leaves or air then it will actually flow faster. So, using this physics, the way this mob grinding machine works is the fact that when mobs fall into it, there are two sections to the grinder itself. There are sec there's a section of slow flowing water and a section of fast flowing water. Fast flowing water the mobs can't actually swim in, um, so they actually drop in into the bottom of that. But then they hit the slow flowing water, and in this slow flowing water they can swim. So they try and swim in that, and then they get trapped between the two sections. In order to build this section, which is the grinding section, then what you need to do is you need a lot of glass, a lot of dirt, or any other opaque block, but you definitely need glass. Uh, you also need a lot of water uh, to start you off. So either get two buckets to make an infinite pool, um, as I'm sure you're aware, to make an infinite pool you just dig a four block hole and put a piece of water in each corner. You also need some signs uh, because it helps to control the water. Let's start off with the grinder itself. So to build the grinder itself, start by digging a four block hole in the ground and then build all the way around that and keep building upwards for about three blocks. So this passage here will be our oops, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, this bit here will be our output. So we actually want to bring this up by four blocks, probably. Just be safe. Right, so this is the first section. This will be the actual bit. This will be the actual section in which the the mob will die. Um, this will be the the slow flowing water component of the the machine. As you can see, that this this one is slightly more raised out of the ground than uh, my other uh, my other one. Um, I actually built that one slightly too low which is why it's, it's uh, the uh, output is two blocks down into the ground um, 
but once you've built if you build this into your base you're able to adjust that all it depends on is the height specifically of this dirt section um, because I would aim always to have at least um, either two or three blocks of slow flowing water to make sure that the mob will actually start swimming and not fall out the bottom when nobody wants their mobs falling out the bottom right what we're going to do now is to stop the water flowing into this section here we're going to put signs onto these four blocks like that as you're probably aware signs will stop water flowing like so and it will create a pocket of air under here which will allow the items to drop out without being caught in some kind of water flow. So now we've got our section for the slow flowing water we can build our section for the faster flowing water which is again nearly identical to what the bottom section so instead of dirt it's just glass and you probably again go for the exact basically the same amount of, of glass to what you have dirt uh, and this will ensure that the mobs won't actually manage to swim to the surface um, right what you can do now is uh, place the water that you have into these four corners ah falling into my own machine not a good start okay you now have the beginnings of your machine all you need to do now is build the exit passage so basically any mob falls into this machine it will be dragged down and as you can see in this section I can swim up fine in this section it is really really slow to swim upwards as soon as you get a mob into there, I'll see whether I can spawn a. Uh, let's try it with a pig. Ooh, where's that pig go? Where's the pig? Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, let's try it. See what happens if I stand here and spawn one. Ah, oh, bugger. Uh. Right, set the time back to day. Ah, there we go. There's one of the problems that we have to overcome. There's the fact that, to start with, mobs will not be able to actually sink below the surface level due to the nature of their swimming mechanism they won't be able to drop into the machine so that's where this comes in give them a tiny little push just a one block drop and they will fall in to the machine and as you can see they're trapped in that area and they're taking damage and they will eventually drop their pot shots. To build the output, all it takes is block the block of water there and block of water there. Bring your lovely pork chops out here and block that off. Make this machine more compact. I'll destroy my staircase. That there is drowning machine 100% effective brilliant for use against pain in the ass mobs if you've got a uh, mob spawning tower just all you have to do is bring the um, the output of that tower through the top of this machine and you'll get 100% drops every time <laughs> 